No one grew up saying, I want to be a drug addict and a transient. If you can tap into people's authentic selves and, and help them remember that they matter and that they have gifts to give the community, maybe they can see the change and have some hope. It's pretty hard to have hope out there. I'm a licensed clinical social worker embedded in the Mount Vernon Police Department. This position was created to work with people without homes and help them access services and find housing. I make appointments for all kinds of things, doctor's appointments, mental health assessments, substance use assessments, attorneys, trying to figure out where the barriers are for them to have a better life. That's a huge part of the whole thing is having a relationship with somebody. I mean, that's, that's how people trust you to try these new scary steps. In this county, there wasn't any other embedded mental health professional in a law enforcement agency. And then law enforcement officers, their jobs aren't to help someone access substance use disorder services or mental health services. Um, they wouldn't give me my meds and I ended up back out here, so I didn't. Many times people will, will talk to me. It's best if I have the opportunity to sit down with somebody for coffee or something like that and they can relax and tell some of their story. But it's just about trying to figure out how I'm valuable to them. Um, if you ha had the opportunity to stay in a motel, how do you think your life would be different? I would be able to get involved with services and volunteering and stuff then. So I would be stable right now, I'm not. We have an opportunity to offer very few people a motel room uh, for up to a year. Uh, you, have to, you have to be a good neighbor um, and, and um, we'd like to help you work on all those things that you listed. Um, would you be interested in that? Okay. Yeah. A lot of people have had huge traumas in their lives and that has made them more fragile and vulnerable and then they have addiction problems or their mental health problems flare up or they, um, they don't get, haven't had the support that they wanted and they end up without homes and there's so much healing that has to, to happen for them. And they would like to talk about their trauma and their issues um, and work on, on their emotional healing and, and find a place to belong. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Throughout my career, I've known that I'm important and not important all at the same time. I'm a placeholder for people. I can be a person that matters in their life. And then eventually I'm a person who doesn't matter in their life. And that's like the best success, really. You did, good job. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you soon, okay.